on Tuesday, the New Hampshire Supreme Court will be hearing from Pamela Smart's attorneys as they challenge another denial by the governor to release her from prison. Yeah, Smart has spent most of her life behind bars after being convicted in one of the highest profile trials in American history. Mm -hmm. Nightline co-anchor Juju Chang spoke via phone with Smart as she attempts a latest chance at a new life. It was the trial of the 90s, Pamela Smart's case captivating the country. Smart, then a 21-year-old school worker, accused of convincing her teenage lover and his friends to murder her husband. This was an enormous case. She became a villain, a tabloid star in the worst of ways. Attractive young woman accused of having an affair with a 15-year-old and getting him to kill her husband. People were glued to a fledgling court TV, watching Billy Flynn, her student lover, blame Smart for masterminding the murder. I never would have done it if Pam didn't tell me to. She was the first girl I ever loved. The Derry, New Hampshire drama inspiring Hollywood movies like To Die For. Did you get the gun? Yeah. We're going to sit here if that's okay. Smart has maintained her innocence for 32 years, serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. And so, just to be clear, did you mastermind the murder against Absolutely your husband? Absolutely not. No, I did not spend, you know, almost three decades, and it, it hurts. Now, for the first time, Smart is on the eve of a high-stakes hearing that might be her best shot at one day walking free. Billy Flynn, who shot Greg Smart in the head, has been out of prison for nearly a decade. His three friends, accomplices who helped kill Smart's husband, have also been released. Smart is the only one who remains in prison. She calls us from behind bars. An incarcerated individual at New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. And do you feel like this is sort of your last best shot at freedom? I actually do. It feels like this is the last stand, so to speak. The only way Smart can ever be released is if the governor of New Hampshire determines that Smart is rehabilitated and grants her a commutation. Commuting a sentence means reducing it. She's really hoping for the governor to really step in and say, okay, she's served enough time now, so let's let her go. Smart has applied three times for a commutation, yet she has never even earned a hearing. Until she admits that she was the orchestrator of this crime, I don't believe she is rehabilitated at all. But Smart argues she is rehabilitated and has done her time. Why do you deserve release from prison? Um, well, I don't know if I would characterize it as deserving it. Um, I am asking for mercy and compassion. I spent 32 and a half years in prison. Pamela Smart's supporters have written hundreds of letters outlining her extensive education and service to others while behind bars. But in March of last year, the governor's council voting to deny what may be her last request for commutation after just two and a half minutes of discussion. We must never forget about Greg. He would have been my constituent. All in favor of denying the petition request of Pamela Smart on item 124, please signify by saying aye. 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 Smart's attorney will argue tomorrow that the governor and his counsel refused to review the three decades worth of materials Smart submitted in her plea for mercy. So the governor's office did not respond to requests for comment. The attorney general's office, though, they said in their filing that the decision to commute Smart's sentence should not be left up to the courts, but to the governor. Mm. So 32 we'll and a half years, though. I mean, we were both surprised when we saw that. Decades later, mm -hmm. we are still talking about yeah, this. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.